Twitch is kind of a big deal. They're the world's largest live streaming platform for gamers and other creators. And even gamers need music. If you're a gamer, Twitch is definitely a platform that you want to be on. Game streaming isn't going anywhere, and Twitch is leading the way for gamers just like you. Did you know that there are anywhere from half a million to two million Twitch streams live at any time? So if you want to stand out, you're going to need to focus on making yours a place that viewers want to hang out at and watch. One way that a lot of gamers do that is with dramatic pause music. Duh. Twitch only allows its streamers to use music that they own. Now, that doesn't mean only music you create, only that you need to have the necessary rights and license to use the music in question on their platform. And remember, just because you own a CD, the heck is that, does not mean you own the music. There are only four categories of music that you're allowed to use in your Twitch streams. So let's unpack them now. Number four, music you own. Now, this does include music written, recorded, and performed by you. Even if you do own the music, though, be sure you still check with your record label before using it on Twitch, as you could still have some issues. And that's the kind of issue that a tissue won't solve. <laughs> Rhyming. <laughs> Number three, music from Twitch Sings. If you sang the song on Twitch Sings, you're in the clear. But you are still only allowed to use it if it matches Twitch's terms of services. So make sure you whip out that magnifying glass and read the fine print. I can't see what it says in the bottom. Number two, music from the Twitch Music Library. This includes any authorized music in Twitch's own music library. It sounds like a gimme, sure, but if you're just getting started, you gotta know what your options are. Failure is not an option. Now, before we give you number one, we desperately need you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notifications button. Please, it'll help us level up. Get it, gamers? That's a joke about gaming. Zelda, Fortnite. All right, number one, music you're licensed to use. You guessed it. This includes music that you own the license to and are allowed to share on a public platform. This is what royalty-free music for Twitch is categorized as, and honestly, it's gonna be your best bet. Royalty-free music libraries give you lots of different options. I don't understand all the choices we have, but I guess people like choices. All right, gamers, we hope this proved to be a helpful crash course. Let us know what you thought in the comments and hit the link in our description for a deeper dive. We'll see you on the next episode of Intune. Until then, Keep creating.